be a subscriber good morning good morning so this blog is about Dragon Ball Z super yes it's out of the ordinary yes it all is out of the ordinary but a lot of people ask me if I could do it which I'm a big fan also so it was it, this was just simple and easy for me to do so now you know last week there was no episode because the girl that plays Bulma she died they found her die, dead in her car died <laughs> found her dead in her car sorry about the laughing but you know just how life is so this episode and now we all everybody's a lot of people have mixed feelings about this season of Dragon Ball Z because especially with Gohan and Android 17 a lot of you probably don't know what I'm talking about but if you have kids um, you will know what I'm talking about you know kids probably be watching this stuff you know probably watch a lot of MMA whatever um, like One Piece Naruto all of these so a lot of kids are into this stuff and so everybody's so psyched and and pumped about this episode that's coming up this Saturday because what they finally get to see Goku in ultra 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 instinct mode like full ultra instinct mode like fully and you know he's he's in competing with Jared which is super strong like I think of all the competitors Goku ever fought throughout the entire Dragon Ball Z saga, I think Jared is by far the most powerful. Yeah, I think he's more powerful than even one of the gods. So, he's very powerful. You know, because Jared is like one of those persons like on the hunt for more, like more power, more power, more power. So, it's like a life, you know, it teaches you about life, you know, what people do just to, like somebody ruins your life and afterwards you just don't care about life and then you go in afterwards and just trying to seek more power and once you get a, a hold of that power, you want more. It's just like drug dealers. When they, Once they get the first dose of drugs in their system or crack addicts, I should say, not drug dealers, once they get that first dose of in their system, they constantly want more and they'll do anything to pay for it. Sell their bodies, sell their whole entire house just so they could maintain the habit. So Jared is in that same sense, like, you know, they, they murdered his family, so he want revenge. So he's on the on the hunt, trying to get revenge for every single person that will take part in killing his family. So he's in order for him to do that, he's to get stronger. So he's just constantly, constantly getting power, powered up, powered up, powered up, till he's super strong. And it's a part of life. You know, we do stuff in life so we could get to build characters in ourselves and help grow as persons. You know, maybe at, at a young age we'll immature, but eventually we grow up. And it's the same part. And uh, Goku, on the other hand, is like the good guy and see Jared as a threat that's trying to take over his universe or his world and he's trying to do whatever it takes to make sure that doesn't happen so he's defending him defending the world just like um, Trump and King John both of them see each other as threats you know what I'm saying but at the same time they are both planning just in case something do happen with those two they are ready so in this case Jared and Goku are fighting and you know for pretty much of the part Jared was whooping the crap out of uh, out of him so Goku actually reflects on everything that all the hurt and pain hurt and pain that his friends and family had suffered throughout this whole ordeal and he took it up on it so now he's he has to defend and fight in their honor, you know, so they could feel at peace, you know, or feel like he does something wrong. Just like you, your parents, you know, 
no matter what you do, some some of the time you may think that you're doing good, but your parents are not pleased with you, and you're trying to do everything in your in your grace and power. You know, trying to trying to get your approval of your mom or your dad or your family members. You know, a lot of the time when you meet a girl or whatever, they're not you know, they don't approve. So it's pretty much like the same life story. So if you guys have not watched Dragon Ball Z, you could take it's a lot of episodes though. But I'm being honest, it's a lot. So you guys would have to play catch up on it, like binge watch Dragon Ball Z for like maybe a month. You probably could catch up like that. But it's very interesting, you know, if you guys really pay attention. So as I said, it's just one of those blogs. So like share comment subscribe and let me know yeah it was okay yeah it was not a good review you know, leave your honest opinion and let me know all right you guys have a blessed morning この今までの身勝手の極意を超える真の身勝手の極意がついに発動する最強対最強の勝つ